Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have a Wonder Recipe card for you. This is a Wonder Recipe number three card. And if you do this card, like you see here with the four different designer series papers, and you cut each of the four papers in one and a half inch squares, according to the Wonder Recipe, so you start with a six by six piece of each pattern, cut them into one and a half inch squares. This will make 16 cards. So this is a great one to consider for your um, Thanksgiving or fall greetings or for making a bunch to have on hand. It's a fun and easy design. For the sake of the video though, we're not gonna make 16. I'm just gonna walk you through the one. And after you've cut your six by six designer series paper into one and a half inch squares, or if you just want to make the one, that's okay. Then you're going to um, if you just want to make the one, that's okay. In that case, you just need a one and a half inch square of each of four patterns. So I'm going ahead and get those one and a half inch squares here. This is really actually the end of my Stampa stack. These are gonna be used for thank you cards and thinking of you cards for my customers and team. So I'm making a bunch. I've got a crumb cake card base, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Let's go ahead and work our center score here. And we're gonna emboss the front of this. It's gonna add such a nice um, subtle detail. My pine wood planks embossing folder is one of the older 3D models from Stampin' Up! You know the older 3D models by the Sizzix logo. So for the new Stampin' Cotton Emboss, you want to pop that card into the folder and then pop the folder on top of no number one, which is the platform, and then add to the top of that number three, which is a cutting pad. That's for the old style 3D folders. When you get the new style 3D folders, you'll use one and four. Look at that gorgeous impression. Let's add our designer series papers. I'm using some multi-purpose liquid glue here. I find that that's gonna hold nice and tight to the embossed card front. And we're just gonna kinda Add our squares at fun little jaunty angles, high of center. Ooh, I have a hard time gluing down that hound's tooth. I love the hound's tooth. We're making a fun frame for our focal image. Now, of course, you can um, do this card, not just for mass production, but it's a great way to use up some scraps. Okay, I have a Whisper White piece here. I've cut this ahead of time with a classic label punch. And we're going to stamp our Hello Greeting in Cajun Craze. Let's get our Stamp and Pierce mat and some Cajun Craze ink. Our Hello Greeting comes from the Love of Leaves stamp set. And we're going to use this great big leaf too. Love this stamp set. I'm having such a good time with it. This, well, I guess technically it's still summer. The fall's coming, but hello, we're gonna stamp it left of center. And let's make this into a little tag. I'm gonna make it into a tag by just popping it into the trimmer. I'm gonna make it, I don't know, a little over an inch long maybe. And trim it. Now we've got a tag. I'm gonna pop a little hole in there with a 1 8 inch circle punch. We're gonna thread some linen thread through there later. A little bit more stamp in here before we're finished. Got a scrap of Cajun Craze here and our large leaf. Let's stamp Cajun Craze on Cajun Craze and make our focal image. I love this distinctive 
finish. Look at that. Isn't that great with the little texture, the highlights, and the shadows? Let's die cut the leaf. Got a mouse set here to die cut. I've got one, two, three. Now our leaf and then our dies. The stitched leaves, leaves dies has an option. You can either cut out the leaf just as it is with just the outline, or you can cut out the leaf and texture it at the same time. So I just tape the two dies together so I can cut out and texture all in one pass. And we're gonna go ahead and line that up. Watch the little peak hole for the end of the stem. Make sure that the stem is colored in and that the edge of the stamped image, the ink, the stamped image goes all the way to the edge of the die. Another three over the top and give it a crank. Get our cards back in here. I've done a little die cutting ahead of time for you. A little punching too. This is a two inch circle punched from Whisper White. We're gonna glue that to our crumb cake scallop circle. This is two and a quarter inch cut with the layering circles dies. Let's go ahead and glue those two together. And we've also cut from soft suede, this middle size swoopy square. That's from the Hippo and Friends dies. I'm gonna glue our swoopy square to the center of our gorgeous designer series paper mat. And then our crumb cake scallop right into the center. I've got Mossy Meadow and our Sprig Punch right here. Let's cut some sprigs, or as my dear friend Rhonda likes to call them, plantlers. <laughs> yep, you've heard it. Now you can never unhear it. Two plantlers, to be precise. And we need a couple of mini dimensionals on the back of our focal leaf. Avoid the stem because we're going to tie our little tag to it. Going to hide the ends of the plantlers under the leaf. It might require a little multi purpose liquid glue. So, once you get your main leaf positioned, add a little multi purpose liquid glue. to secure those sprigs. Pretty cute, aren't they? Now our hello tag and some linen thread. We're just gonna slide the linen thread under the stem. You're gonna want probably nine or ten inches just tie and then thread the tails through your tag tie a bow kind of a nice loopy one i'm gonna put a little half a mini dimensional on the leaf and tuck the tag into it that way it'll stay where we want it and trim the tails and there is a gorgeous hello card for the fall the perfect card for using up some scraps or with four sheets of designer series paper on the wonder recipe number seven it's a perfect card for a mass produ production for the fall season four six by six sheets of designer series paper cut according to wonder recipe number three will yield 16 of this gorgeous card if you've got questions about the project or the wonder recipes you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com the Wonder Recipes are available for you to print at kitchentablestamper.com. Just 
click on the six by six wonder recipe category on the right hand side or meet us in the craft social where you can find the principal wonder recipe cutting diagrams in the files section to buy stampin up products and shop 24 7 you can buzz over to marissa thanks for watching